Hey guys, today is going to be more like a public service announcement than anything. Hopefully I'll, I'll be able to keep it brief. I want to keep this simple. I've actually done a couple uh, different takes on this and uh, you end up getting lost in the weeds with a bunch of uh, different terminology and overcurrent protection. But this is, this is about overcurrent protection, but specifically breakers. I'm not going to get into the T-class fuses on this one and the need for those or, or what specific needs you have for those. So just breakers this time. And I'm going to talk uh, about voltage on the breakers. Uh, these are two 48 volt inverters. They are 6,500 watt 48 volt inverters. These are 200 amp breakers. Uh, and each one, I've actually isolated both my systems. I have my uh, DYI uh, battery pack here and my battery rack over here from Signature Solar. And so I isolated them in case I needed to work on one or the other. But otherwise, these breakers are pretty cool in that sense that they each side of these ones uh, can handle 200 amps. They're nice, beefy breakers. Uh, they can take a whole lot of voltage and amperage um, through them. So these are specifically, these are uh, 200 amps. Uh, they have 150 amp ones there too. And these are just two examples. I, I've got another example over here of what you can get out there. When I was shopping around for breakers for my system a year ago, it was a lot harder to find them. And I think as the 48 volt systems have become more popular, they're easier to find. So Amazon didn't have any suitable breakers back then, but they do now. I don't know quality wise if they're any good. So I would look at the reviews and be careful. I know the two that I'm going to show you, these Watts 24 seven ones and, and uh, this one over here are our quality so just shop around and make sure you you pay attention these are this is a nader a brand breaker from uh, signature solar they actually come you can get a bundle or a, a pack thing now with this little cabinet with it it comes with uh, a set of grommets so it's actually really nice it's a nice little cabinet too this is uh, this can handle the voltage from a 48 volt system also and that's what I wanted to get into as far as voltage. This is a uh, Blue Sea Breaker from off Amazon. And they're actually quality breakers. But it is 48 volt max DC. Uh, you, you need well above that for a 48 volt system. So the nominal voltage of lithium iron phosphate, which is the batteries I'm using here, is 51 volts. Uh, and that's just a fancy word for saying approximate, but you need above 48 volts for your breakers because that's, this is the max. So for a 24 volt system or 12 volt system, these breakers are actually quality. They're really good. Uh, from above that, you're going to need a larger breaker. Uh, it doesn't have to be from what 24 seven or signature solar. I'll put those links down below, but there's, you can shop around now. You can find a, a quality breaker, but it needs to meet the voltage and amperage that you need. So a lot of people were paying attention to the amperage and uh, they're getting, you know, 48 volt or below on Amazon and not paying attention to the, the voltage. So I've seen that repeatedly. I see it more and more now uh, than before. And that's the last thing I wanted to talk about was the quality of the breaker. Now, Blue Sea is one thing. They really make good stuff. But there is a lot of cheap breakers on Amazon and there's tests that I've seen different videos people are doing on them where some of them trip early. So you get a 200 amp breaker and it's tripping at 100 amps. So you're only getting half of the capacity in your system and that would be irritating. There's other tests that show that they're not tripping at all and that is dangerous. These are overcurrent protection. So they are to prevent damage to the system and from the the wire itself from burning if it's getting uh you know too much flow through it so they're very important spend the money and get actual quality breakers that are sized correctly for your system uh, and don't go cheap on the current protection overcurrent protection uh, so yeah brief video that uh should have been an easy one to make but i just kept, <laughs> kept trying to switch things around to make it shorter and easier but that's it these Blue C or another quality type of this, 24 volt, 12 volt, anything above that, find something with a max uh, voltage ceiling at 60 volts or above. Uh, that way you've got a little padding there and uh, get the correct amperage uh, for your system and you'll be good to go.
Uh, and again, I can talk about T-class fuses and the need for those in another video. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. A lot of stuff coming up soon. Thanks.